Hi YouTube, in this video we will talk about text color in CSS and we will go through so we will discuss in this um, video text color, text alignment, text decoration and text transformation the last one is text indentation so we are going to discuss each one of them okay so first comes text color now in text color there are three ways to give a color to your heading for example one is hex and as you can see in front of your screen second one is RGB and third one is by the name of the color so let's start this uh, writing it our program So guys as you can see in HTML I have write heading this is heading 1 as you can see at number 6 and this is paragraph 1 and let's call this paragraph 2 and class okay we are done now what we need in this that we have to use text color so the three examples which I have told you hex RGB and the name of the color we will be using this over here okay so let's say this comes in the body let's say if uh, if I'm going to uh, use a uh, style now now I'm going to write is this body and remember curly braces C O L O O R color let's say yellow now all the headings it's it's come in the body and it's highlighted with yellow let's say let's give heading one uh, as a, a hex value so heading one now now that value is as you can see that heading one turned into the color which I chose so and it's in the hex value now third one comes RGB as you can see I have put the class A so I'm going to uh, I'm going to use RGB value in this paragraph 2 and so you google it and there are lots of color present in that so from the internet I have found this color and yeah it looks good so let me explain you this is heading 1 and in this method in the text color method I have shown you how to change the color so there are three ways and I have changed the body color is yellow so uh, and and as you can see it has yellow color and then I want heading one uh, to be a brown or something like that so the value which I've got from the internet is this and it's written in the hex value now third one is um, I have wrote down in RGB value so there are three ways to write the name of color so and remember there are lots of colors and lots of values so if you can get the list from the internet and you can just type hex value 
so the number f start will appear of each color and you can say you can write at the Google RGB value so lots of colors will you will get the name so when you're creating a web page just remember that you want to change the color of thing which you want just type the name and type the color maybe it's in the text you can be use as the name you can be you you can use as hex value and you can use so it's upon you so there are three ways which I have to tell you how to write how to change the color and I have uh, shown you guys so so we will move on next which is text alignment okay guys in text alignment it comes text aligned center text aligned right and text aligned justify and we are going to discuss each one of them so first is text aligned center so let's go for first one as you can see in front of your screen there's the heading one and we will discussing text align center so I'm going to show you what this text align center is I'm going to write heading one and I'm going to type here text align C E N T E R center now the heading has been aligned to the center step there's second one is text align right if I want to move my text to right I'm going to type over here right and it has been moved to right third one is justify justify we use in the paragraph mostly cuz what happens that it aligns the margin uh, when uh, let me write a paragraph for you guys and then I will tell you what is uh, text align is I'm sorry text jetif, j justify is so uh, justify means that every line has a um, stretch to equal uh, means that uh, every line is equal width and um, fr and from uh, left to right margins are straight so I have write a paragraph so let's say let's use this justify now as you can see when I use justify so every line has a uh, from right to le uh, left has equal straight margins and um, uh, and it stretched to equal width now now guys we will go to text transformation so guys in text transformation it comes uppercase lowercase and capitalize so let's go uh, let's discuss each of them guys I have right in front of you heading one let's transform it text trans form to lowercase as you can see the heading now has been transformed to lowercase we will go to uppercase now heading has been transferred to uppercase now capitalize yeah now as you can see it has transformed to capitalize so th 
there are three ways to transform the text to lowercase, uppercase and capitalize. Guys, let's talk about text decoration. There are three um, text decoration, overline, underline and line through. We are going to discuss each one of them. Now, as you can see in front of your screen, heading 1, we are going to transform it to text. text decoration over line now as you can see that on the top of this it has um, over line and second one is underline Now, and the third one is third, third one is line through. So we have discussed three of them, and the third one is text indentation. I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's the last one, text indentation. So I'm going to write the paragraph, and you have, so I'm going to pause this over here. And after writing the paragraph, I'm going to show you what is this. So this is the paragraph. Let's. Um, so text indent. Uh, Fifty pixels, px. As you can see, the space. So this is called text indent, and we can make it to sixty. We can make it to eighty. So it's eight hundred a lot, eighty, but fifty is good. So this is text indent. So this is the end of this. Um, this is all about text which I know and all I have um, delivered it to you. So one more thing that if you don't understand anything, you can comment it down below and I'll try to explain you whatever you don't understand. And this is the, uh, my new channel. You can like this to this video and subscribe to this channel and stay classy guys.